It's windy. Hey everybody, me and my brother Paul came over with some friends of ours. They had a old riding lawnmower that they were getting rid of. Um, so we're gonna pick that up, but we got it loaded here. It's a uh, Ranch King, 12 horse Briggs motor. Uh, they said the deck did work, but they were having trouble with the belt coming off, but I'm gonna take the deck off anyway. Uh, this is actually gonna be kind of a little project for the kids to monkey around with. Get the deck off, get it running. They can use it to pull trailers around the yard and stuff, and be a good little, good little project for them. So they don't, they don't know what I'm getting yet. So we'll see, see their reaction when we get home. Needs a little bit of, needs a little bit of tin work. The grill's dented in a little bit. And pound that back out and wash it up a little bit. Actually, looked pretty decent. They said it did run. They used it to mow the lawn a couple years ago. It's been sitting inside, so we'll try it out. All right, we're just pulling into the yard here now, so Jenna's gonna send the kids out to check out their surprise. See what they see what they think of this. They've been watching. Uh, if you look on YouTube, it's called Taro Fixes All. It does lawn mower, small engine repair, and stuff. They've been watching Terrell, so they've been wanting something like this to work on, so. I can hear them. There they are on the front of the house. Go check it out. Oh, we gotta go get shoes on. I told them to be ready. What is cool! Like this our surprise you had to take apart. Yep, now you guys can start watching Terrell and get it running. We need to get this thing running? Yep. Cool! Let's take the mower stuff. deck off it because I'm not gonna let you guys use it for the mower. Well, I don't think the mower works anyway. But get it running, you guys can use it for pulling your wagon <laughs> along. <laughs> What do you think? Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm not going to put a new seat on it. Oh, that seat's all right. Look at the hitch. Got a big heavy hitch on it. <laughs> That's a big heavy hitch. <laughs> we got to get a battery for it. I think the battery's dead and charge it up. It's not really slow, so. You charge the battery, Dad. Get a battery for it. Dad! Gas in, check Dad! The oil. Daddy! Try your oil. Dad! What? You can bring a cup in here. Oh, yeah. Dad! Huh? I bet you we should do, we could do some work on it, like tarot. Yep. That's what I got it for. We'll pull it in the garage, and then you guys can start monkeying with it. Hey, Daddy? Well, take it apart to make sure that everything's in good shape. Daddy! What? 
And then we, we got Chef Dad. Do you see Button Bob? We have Dad. You buy some Terrell Ooh. merchandise. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> go on, Terrell. Dad. Come on, cameras. Yeah, yeah. he sells hats. They say a lawnmower man. <laughs> a lawnmower. Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, done, got a few mishmash things going on. We got that lawn tractor for the kids. We'll be messing with that. Um, the bee, I'm still working on that. I'm still waiting. A couple parts I ordered for it haven't showed up yet. Uh, what I have done here though, I'll show you if we can see. I did get that governor... Um, put back together um, I got this shaft all in place now this long shaft that runs through here I didn't do anything with that I didn't take it out put any bearing there's bearings needle bearings and I think a bushing in there um, but what I have done is I've got heavy like a gear oil actually some Lucas in there I kind of filled this up and I've just had it sitting there so I can creep into all those bearings and lubricate that up. Um, I didn't want to go hog wild on this project uh, just because, like I said, this tractor doesn't get used a lot. And this shaft seems pretty tight yet. It really, there's a little bit of oil maybe coming out of that end seal, but it's not bad. The seal for this uh, shaft that we rebuilt, I... Uh, I couldn't get a seal for it. We tried measuring it up at the parts store and they didn't have anything that would fit that dimension. So I just took the old felt seal, put it in there till it bottomed out, and I took a socket that fit it and I just hit it with the hammer and that squished it down enough. It sealed up really nice there. So, so anyway, I've just kind of been letting that soak right now. Um, I should probably pull that thing up and get the valve cover gasket done on it. So that'll be ready. Once I get... Um, that thrust bearing and that gasket for this governor throw the governor back on Radiator and that should be ready to go um, Another thing we're probably going to get started um, I gotta make a couple phone calls and see if I can get that manure pump and tanker again because the weather's It's been cold here the last couple of days now It's been windy for about a week. It's windy again today. It feels like I'm in Montana but um so anyway, um, try to get that manure tanker and pump again and empty that lagoon out. I've got uh, that field right over there, um, that one that I've had worked up, that I worked up last fall. I'm gonna do peas and oats there and try to seed that in. But I think I'm just gonna haul that lagoon out there. Now normally, I have a crew that comes and custom applies the lagoon. Uh, we did both last year because I had the issues with the manure line so we tanked some out and I did have them come and empty the majority of it and I'll do that again but I'm not going to do it this year unless I have to if I can't get that tank I'll have to but um, just because the lagoon being we pumped it late last fall it's maybe half full so um, I'm just going to take that tanker and pump and haul it out here it's a close haul and then get that emptied and then that'll be back on schedule because i can hold a year's worth pretty close in that lagoon so so we're going to probably be looking at getting that done i'm going to an auction tomorrow same consignment sale where i picked up that grain drill last year in that elevator i actually sold my other i had picked up two grain drills last year one i bought from a neighbor i had another neighbor that was interested looking for a grain drill to do a little bit so he actually bought that one so um, that one I bought at the sale last year, I gotta get that all going. Um, my old dump truck here, some of you have asked about that. It's an F600 Ford. Um, it's just got a military box on it. It used to have a grain box, but when I bought it, it was, uh, that was pretty much rotted off. I did have it running last year just a little bit to move it over here, but I, I got a bunch of sand i need to haul some gravel i need to haul around here filling holes and stuff so i got to get that back in action too i actually got a feeder wagon right now i'm going to go get put a floor in there i got another one like i feed the cows with so i got two the other one the floor is bad in so 
probably work on that a little bit now um so yeah and also um go to muffler delete 101 on youtube brian on there if you've been following along he's done some rebuilding work on the distributor and the carburetor for me on that 560 um so go ahead get over to his channel and subscribe he's doing a little giveaway when he hits a thousand subscribers uh, he's giving away a chainsaw or a hundred bucks and also um I'm not gonna give too much away yet, but me and him got something maybe going on a little bit later this spring, early summer, um, that if, if it all happens, uh, it should be pretty fun to watch, but um, nothing's for sure yet, so I'm not gonna say too much. But, um, so anyway, I'm gonna go get that feeder wagon and pull that down here and get started on that probably. Alright, so this is our other feeder wagon here for the cattle. Um, they got, well originally they had a steel floor. A lot of you out there probably know how these used to be. They had kind of a V-shaped hump in the middle that rotted out. So what my grandpa did is he had channel iron. Uh, it's back to back there and then one on each side ran all the way down and then uh, we just cut two by sixes and slid in there and made a wood floor which worked good but um what happened over time the boards we put in there were just plain pine boards and they rotted in those channels and then the, over time they fell out so anyway the other wagon he did the same thing too um so last year i went through and put a new floor in there i got a bunch of treated wood that i've salvaged here and there so that's actually what I've been using. Uh, that's what I did the other one with. And I think I've got enough around here to do this one with too. So if I had to go buy treated wood to do this, it'd probably be cheaper to have a steel floor made. But since I've got these scrap boards around here, um, I might as well use them up. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do now. I got to just measure, measure the distance. It takes a while because there's a lot of boards in here. But um, just measure and start cutting and uh, get a floor in this one so i can use this too and i don't know um some people might say you shouldn't use green treated wood if the cows are eating off it but i don't know they've been eating off of that other one for over a year now and i haven't had any issues so um i don't think that's i don't think that's an issue there so anyway i'm going to uh, get started on this i gotta go track some boards down and stuff and get set up so i won't uh, bore you with that but We'll get some footage once we get to work here. Pull it right in. And don't run into all my goodies here now. I wouldn't want anything getting scratched. Come on, pull, pull. Need help? There you go. No, we don't. We need the moto. Yep. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, I think the first thing we're going to do, the open the hood. We'll open it up first. Right. I want to get it running first, so we'll have to try to charge the battery, otherwise put a new one on. And then we'll pull the, the grill off because that's all smashed up. We'll either get it straightened out or try to find something different. I'll try to take this out. Um, no. Check the oil. Check you know how to do that? Unscrew that. Make sure it's got oil in it. Make sure. We'll change it once we get it running. But now look okay. at the end. Yep, it's well, it's at the add mark, but that'll be enough to get it to get it going anyway. Once we get it running, we'll we'll, just go get it up. we'll check the air filter. It needs gas. We'll change the oil once, but I want to get it running first. But the first thing we're gonna do, since the battery is dead, is we'll put the charger on it and we'll see if it will um, charge up. Otherwise, I'll have to get a new battery for it. So let's see. I'll dig out the charger, flip the seat up. Okay, can you flip that plastic cover up on the battery? The battery. The battery. The battery. <laughs> All right, I'll hook the cables to this because this battery's kind of a... Old one? Yeah, well, yeah, it's we more of an ATV battery, we so it... We found the battery. Uh, 
Harder to, harder to clip to, so I'll hook them up. Daddy's work. Daddy does this first. Yeah, Daddy's work. I'll have to clean those up too because they're kind of. Yeah, those bolts are kind of old. Kind of corroded. But Girl, we'll try this for now. Exploded? Turn around, Dad. Whoa, whoop, boo, boo. Hang on. Whoa, whoop, boo, boo. I think we'll take this off too. I don't know if this was homemade or not, but we'll it put something like else there. It looks like it was junk made. <laughs> junk made. Oh, uh oh. Piece of junk. Yep. All right. All right, you guys go back while this is charging because you never know what them batteries will do when they're charging. So I'll get this plugged in. You guys can go play for now because it'll take a while. I'll put it on slow charge. All right. To be continued.